free kicks and other things. All right? It's the play, the way the play has been started after the referee has stopped the play for an infraction, either a, a foul or misconduct or a technical violation of the law. All right? There's two types. I've already mentioned them. Anybody can repeat it for me? Indirect and direct. Okay? Those are the two types of kicks. The indirect, or I'm sorry, the direct free kick, you can score directly. Okay, so if I blow the whistle, you put the ball down, you kick it, it goes right in the goal, good goal. Right? <coughs> the indirect it has to be touched or played by another player before the ball can actually be considered a goal. Alright, so here's a direct free kick. He spins, kicks it, goes right in the net, goal. Alright, we have a kickoff going the other direction. An indirect free kick has got to touch or play somebody. Here he kicks it, touches a teammate, it goes in, it's a goal, okay? Or it touches an opponent. If it touches a goalkeeper or a defender and goes in, guess what? It's a goal. Okay? It just has to. It says doesn't say who. It just says a player. It can be either side. Now, if you kick it directly in, it's not a goal. Okay? There is no goal at this point. All right. See, these are some of the things that you have to remind yourself of on a free kick. One, the ball has to be stationary. It can't be rolling when it's being kicked. Okay? It can be played in any direction. There's no double touch. Once you touch it, you have to leave it alone until somebody else touches it. In fact, what I've seen a lot of players do, if they touch it and it's rolling slowly, they keep following it until somebody comes and touches it. Now they can you know, hit it again. So There's no encroachment. Remember, all the defenders have to be five meters away. And there's some restart signal requirements. There's a quick restart and a ceremonial restart. Uh, if it's a quick restart, I blow the whistle for the foul, I put the ball down, and you go ahead and whack the ball into play, go ahead and do that. That's what they call a quick restart. You want to get the play going. The French do that a lot. All right? They don't wait for the defenders to set up. They get the ball into play so quick, the defenders are going, whoa, what happened? All right? Then there's a ceremonial restart. If they want to back up and take a look around and stuff like that, now it's a, it's a ceremonial restart. We, you know, they say we want five meters. We want the defenders five meters away. Then the referee sets up the wall. You know, points to his whistle, and then he blows his whistle, and lets everybody know that's the, when you can start. Okay? And like I talked about earlier, you can't score on yourself on a free kick directly. Now, if you kick it back at your goalkeeper, and he touches it, goes in. Oops. All right. Now, if it's, if it's a free kick given to the defensive team in their goal area, just like a goal kick, you can put it anywhere in the goal area for them to kick, because they got to go all the way down court in order to score. So it's no big deal. If the infraction takes place here, and I put the ball here, it's no big deal. Okay, it can be taken anywhere. But all opponents have to be outside the goal area, I should say goal area down here, and the ball has to clear the goal area before it can be considered to be in play. Okay, so if he kicks it here, it's rolling here, nobody can touch it until it leaves the area. Okay. Um, if, it's given, if a free kick is given to the attacking team, an indirect free kick, here's the spot of the infraction here. The attacking team is going right this way to the goal. It's not fair to have it that close to the goal. So you bring it out like the set ball, to an area on top of the goal area, and that's where the indirect free kick is given to. Okay? Now, if it's a direct free kick, it ends up being a penalty kick. And we'll talk about penalty kick in a separate law. All right? All right, let's say the, the, I blow the whistle, put the ball down, and you want to take a quick kick. All right? And an opponent is less than five meters away, and you kick it right to him. Is that an infraction on the defender? No, it's not, because you kick, You decided to do a quick it, you didn't let him give the five meters away, you kicked it right at him, it's not his fault, it's your fault, okay? So we're not going to do anything as a referee. Um, however, if the opponent is moving backwards but decides to play the ball, okay, when it's getting kicked by him or her, now he's involved himself in the play, all right? He needs to be five meters away, so we warn the player. You see the difference? If, the, if he kicks it right at the defender, that's one thing, all right? That's not his fault. But if he's kicking it by him and he makes the move to the ball, right, if he's not five meters away. All right? If he's not a tie and makes an effort to intercept, he's staying there like three meters away and decides to go play the ball, now he's going to get a caution. Okay. All right, we talked about um, on this. This is what I tell the referees. If a player says, I want five meters, what the referee does is he comes, he, he points to his whistle first. He says, um, what he's basically telling everybody is, wait for my whistle before we start the game. He goes back to the five meters, and he, set, he says, right here. He brings the defenders back, gets up there like four meters away from the ball, 
this is where you need to be back here. Okay, he pulls him back. Then he, then he moves off the side, looks at him good, and goes, what are you jumping about for? <laughs> I'm awake. Ah, you're awake. <laughs> All right, and encroachment is all directions, behind the ball, in front, to the sides. You've got to be five meters from the ball. The, the, the attacking team doesn't have to ask for the five meters. Defenders have to give the five meters. Okay, that's a big thing. People always say, well, they didn't ask for five meters. Doesn't matter. You're supposed to give it five right away. Okay, and it could be a cautionable offense if you're, if you're too close. All right, now there is an exception to that. There's always an exception, all right? So let's say here's the spot of the free kick. If there's five meters from the ball, Look at that. And play, this player would be five meters away, he'd be over here. That's a free open goal right there. That's not fair. So the exception for the five meter, you can be closer than five meters to the ball if you're on the goal line between the goal posts. All right? That makes sense? Yes. Is that defender the goal? Doesn't matter. Okay. Defender or, it just says defender, which is a player, a, a field player or a goalkeeper. Okay. All right? So either one of those, as long as they're on the goal line between the goal posts. Now, um, all right, in this situation here, you've got a defender and two defenders. You've got the goalkeeper and one of his defensive players on the goal line between the goal posts. That's still legal. This guy here is not legal because he's, he's a defender, but he's within five meters of the ball. He needs to be back. Okay? Is that legal defensive position? Yes. Yeah, it is now. Yeah. As long as you have one wheel on line, they're okay. And we'll talk about it here. Okay, so you have at least one wheel in line. So this guy is legal because he's got one wheel in line. This guy is legal because he's got one wheel in line, but he is not because he's completely off the line. Okay. All right, now, goalkeeper is the exception because the goalkeeper is the only one that can leave completely the field between the goal, his own goalposts. All right. the, the restriction on players leaving the field is you can leave anywhere on the field except between your own goalposts. The only exception to that is the goalkeeper is the only one allowed to fully cross the line. Because if a ball, like you were talking about earlier, is halfway across the goal line, a defender can't run all the way over and mock it back into play. It has to be the goalkeeper that's the only one that can do that. Okay. All right. Uh, now, the exception for the goalkeeper is he can be behind the goal line, but he can't be beyond the goalposts. All right. Oh. So you can't doing a circle around. Well, and I'll show you about the circle around, but if he's behind the goal, the goal line, on a free kick like that, he can't be forward of the goal post like that. Yeah. All right, now just because the goalkeeper is off the field does not give the right to put a second defender in there, okay? He's still going to be considered to be part inside the goal area. We'll talk about your own now that have two players in the goal area. Um, so you can't have uh, three players there now. Huh? As long as two, right. So now here's another picture showing the goalkeeper behind the goal line, the defensive player one wheel on the line, this guy is outside the five meter area, this guy is not, okay? That's just what that's illustrating.